In 2020, with the global COVID-19 pandemic, facing this challenge, tested by impermanence and constant changes, people's minds need a power of calmness and comfort all the more. For physical and mental well-being of the public, the Dharmadrum Mountain Sangha took a swift decision toward the end of January to suspend all in-person courses. Also centering on calming people's minds, the Dharmadrum Mountain Global website set up a peace of mind section and launched digital learning programs and online group practice activities for devotees around the world to continue with their practice during the pandemic. DDM Abbot President Venerable Guo Hui also urged people in society to compassionately safeguard each other by joining hands to overcome this epidemic. Starting from March, with increasing infections around the world, there was also growing unrest in societies. Besides holding the Mind at Peace, Life at Peace prayer assemblies on Sundays, Dharma Drum Mountain also launched the Reciting the Great Compassionate Dharani online to encourage people to uphold the Dharani, accumulating the force of compassion and wishes. In mid-July, it also held a 100-day Merit Transfer Dharma Assembly, continuing to pray for the world and for people's peace of mind. The DDM Sangha and its branch practice centers also adapted to the pandemic by adopting alternative forms of group practice. The DDM Chan Practice Center launched the Chan Hall at Home online Chan practice course. Dharma Drum Young Buddhist Society's online awakening camp for children was also launched Dharma Drum Mountain Hong Kong Center launched the Dharma Drum Mountain and Family Puppet Theater. These diverse online channels to spread the Dharma help people continue with their practice at home without compromising their learning. DDM's quick reaction to epidemic prevention soon caught the attention of the Agence France Press, which came to Taiwan in mid-March to do an interview with a special report on how its online courses operated. In May, on the Buddha's birthday, at the Dharma Drum Mountain Complex, the three-session Ritual of Mindfulness for Deliverance, which was streamed online in real time to help those who had lost their lives in the pandemic leave suffering behind for a better rebirth. In late July, with an easing of the situation in Taiwan, DDM and the Health Promotion Administration co-organized a Peace of Mind City event for citizens to enjoy the slow walking, enhancing their well-being. Towards the end of August, the Emperor's Repentance Ritual at Nongchan Monastery, which was started 24 years ago, was streamed online in real time, in line with the pandemic prevention measures, so practitioners could switch to the internet to engage in group practice of repentance, praying for the global pandemic. In addition, the Shenyan Education Foundation spent two and a half years to produce a documentary film, Master Shen Yen, which premiered in late August. It allows the audience to see how Master Shen Yen was challenged by difficulties, yet still committed to Buddhism with compassionate vows, endeavoring to bring inspiration and warmth to society. In publication, after years of re-editing and proofreading, the memorial edition of Complete Works of Master Shen Yen 2020, a series of 108 books, was finally published readers can now have an overall picture of Master Shen Yen's life of spirituality and insightful wisdom. Despite the pandemic, to facilitate people's wishes to continue with their practice and to jointly pray for the world. In late December, the Great Compassion Water and Land Liberation Rite, in line with the measures to prevent coronavirus transmission, combined in-person and online group practice streamed in real time at home and overseas for tens of thousands of devotees to engage in practice and pray that the pandemic 
can soon be over, and all people can enjoy peace and ease. People feel unsafe, the more they need the calming power of the Dharma. Starting from mid-February, Dharma Drum Mountain Fellowship and Social Welfare and Charity Foundation set up the Peace of Mind Station in different parts of Taiwan to carry out promotion works of social care. In addition to the over 70,000 Mind at Peace, Life at Peace free booklets, they also handed out cloth masks, rubbing alcohol, and rice, among other epidemic prevention materials, to needy groups and families. In April and May, DDM's branch centers in the northern part of America launched the Buddha Dharma Relief Project and donated more than 300,000 medical masks. The Social Welfare and Charity Foundation also sent over 70,000 cloth masks prepared by volunteers to shelters for the homeless in the U.S. to help protect local people against the epidemic. From July to October, Dharma Drum Mountain Fellowship organized eight growth camps for fundraising volunteers to fill these Dharma supporters with more energy for promoting the Dharma after the pandemic is over. On September 20th, the Humanities and Social Improvement Foundation held the Caring for Life Award as a recognition of the recipients for bringing into society more positive energy and hope. Also, the work of paying care visits, providing emergency relief, and giving out funds for needy students were not at all deterred by the pandemic, as Dharma Drum Mountain never stopped bringing warm comfort and hope to those in need. In 2020, for DDM's extensive academic education endeavor, due to the pandemic, many in-person activities were canceled. Nonetheless, its adapting faculty and students used this pandemic period to hone their practice, enhancing their power to share the Dharma in the future. Originally scheduled to take place in February, Dharma Drum Sangha University's Awakening Camp event was replaced by a COVID care and prayer Dharma assembly to wish peace and safety for all people. Co-organized by the Sangha Education Department and the Chan Hall, a 40-day intensive Chan retreat for monastics took place in April and May for them to hone their practice. In mid-April, the Sangha University organized the 12th Dharma Talk Exchange session, where over 20 student monastics shared their personal ways in propagating the Dharma. In June, Zhenghua Institute of Buddhist Studies and Academia Sinica's Institute of Chinese Literature and Philosophy co-organized the Chinese Buddhism in East Asia seminar, continuing to create a platform of exchange for young Buddhist scholars. In June and July, Dharma Drum Institute of Liberal Arts and the Sangha University successively held their commencement and graduation ceremonies. Altogether, 50 students and seven student monks completed their studies and joyfully started their new journey for purifying people's minds. In late July, Dharma Drum Institute of Liberal Arts organized a lifelong learning and bodhisattva practice workshop at Baoyun Monastery for people to reflect on the pandemic as a topic for their lifelong learning. On September 16th, at the Tonshir ceremony, the nine new renunciants fulfilled their dream, setting off a monastic life in joy.
In 2020, Dharmadra Mountain has experienced another phase of development. Several of DDM chapters were relocated to new places with bigger areas to accommodate more practitioners. The newly published memorial edition of Complete Works of Master Sheng Yen is to be given to international Sinology centers and major libraries around the globe to continually share Chinese Buddhist traditions and Master Sheng Yen's thoughts to every corner of the world, spreading the seeds of Chinese Buddhism for them to bloom and come to fruition, sending out the fragrance of the Dharma. We wish people can constantly use the calming power of the Dharma to transform the distress and suffering in the world, bringing peace to all beings. Let's sincerely pray, practice, and thus produce blessings.